there's a chance this sweet potato mash blows your socks clean off. Today we're doing a mouth-watering Japanese sweet potato rosemary salt garlic mash. Well, more like a puree, but that's the texture I like. I'll talk more about that later. No time to waste, my friends. Now let's go! So today we're working with Japanese sweet potatoes. Any sweet potato or yam will work. Japanese sweet potatoes are more expensive, but undeniably sweeter, and they have a beautiful nutty flavor. I happen to love them. There appears to be a lemon stuck in my faucet. <clears throat> There we go. I promise all you need to do is wash these. You can also keep a reserve sponge just for vegetables and just wash it like this. I did this for carrots the other day, bunched carrots. Much better than peeling. And you'll see, just look at that color. That's all you need to do. Now, just onto a sheet pan lined with parchment or foil. And we'll just poke them a few times here and there. You know, people say this prevents them from exploding. I do not think they're gonna explode if you don't do this. But you don't want a big break or anything, so good to do that. And now I'm just gonna bake these at 380 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna start putting the Celsius up. How to tell when they're done. It's just the old fork tender test. Put in something pointy and long. If it goes right in easily, it means it's done. So for me, these took an hour and 20 minutes. But when I got these potatoes from the store, they were like rock hard solid. And when they're like that, the oven's really gotta beat the life out of them. If you use a regular sweet potato, it might only take about 40 minutes. Now, I'm just gonna make a little slit, like so. And just peel that skin back a little, really hot. And I'm just doing this so that the heat will escape faster. Cause I just want to let these cool for about 10 minutes and then scoop out the flesh and puree it with the dairy ingredients while everything's still hot. All right, now we'll just take some milk, whole milk, some heavy cream and some unsalted butter and we'll just warm this up. Now, if we do this right, we should be able to just kind of release this into a food processor. If you don't have one of these, not the end of the world. I just like a really smooth mash. I mean, I guess it's more like a puree, but if you like it chunkier, just whisk it up. You could run it through a ricer and we don't want to waste that either. So just scrape it out best you can. When your dairy is nice and hot, just pour some in. And guess what for the seasoning, my friends? Rosemary salt, if you know, you know. I'm gonna put a link in the corner because you gotta learn how to make this. Start with a little. All right, here we go, lid on. We're gonna blend. For about a minute. Touch more rosemary salt. And there she is, and let me tell you, <laughs> the texture of this is like silk, it's so good. Scrapey, scrapey. Okay, let's see if I can still do this thing I used to do in restaurants with purees. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on higher, we can go higher. Whoa, woo! I'm telling you, my friends. Just sweeping up here, fridge. Ah! It's beautiful. I mean, it really is beautiful. Until next time, my friends, you know I love you and I'm out.